Hello, this is Dr. Gay from Versic MRI. And this is a quick little review of the Thenar muscle anatomy. This is confusing sometimes because there are so many muscles all packed together in this big glob that uh, looks like one big muscle. And so just a quick little basic anatomy review. So if you're caught like I get caught constantly and wondering, oh my gosh, where's this tear? Where's it? Which one is this? It's a quick little review, maybe more for me than anybody else. So here we go. This is the thenar muscle compartment. This is axial T1 weighted image. We see a little horizontal line come in here. This is the flexor tendon of the thumb coming obliquely through here. And I use this as a separator. Anything deep to that should be the adductor pollicis. And the adductor pollicis is a pretty big one here. And it's going to attach along the ulnar side. So the adductor pollicis has two muscle groups. They look the same on this. Really can't separate them very well. At least I can't. But they come together as a common tendon here. They may attach to the ossicle, they do attach to the ossicle, and they also have an aponeurosis that goes over to the base of the proximal phalanx. We can see that maybe better on this view here. This is the thumb. Here we go, this is part of the adductor tendon here and this here. So this may be the oblique head, and this one is the transverse head. So we have two heads, oblique, transverse, and they come together to a common tendon, and this little linear black thing is the, the short tendon, and the tendon attaches to the ossicle, and then it also has an aponeurosis that comes over here to the base of the proximal phalanx of the thumb there, and again, it covers the um, uh, ulnar collateral ligament. And we remember probably that if this is torn, and the, uh, I'm sorry, if the ulnar collateral ligament rather is torn, and this is not torn, it can get in between. The ulnar collateral ligament can drift up and this can get in the way where it cannot come down to attach here. They call it a stenner lesion. So this is again the um, adductor pollicis with the tendon that has an aponeurotic attachment to the base. And again, that can trap the ulnar collateral ligament if it's flipped up and uh, keep it from going back down to attach the stenner lesion. So that's the adductor pollicis there. Now what else do we have? We have um, a couple more things here. The other one I think about mainly is the abductor. So that was the ADD. And then the most superficial one, and the one you think about most, is the abductor, ABD. So it's the most superficial one here. You see the central tendon. And rather than on the ulnar side, it's going to be on the radial side. So that linear, little linear tendon there is the uh, ABD, abductor, pollicis, brevis muscle. And the tendon, and it's going to go to the base of the proximal phalanx again, but on the other side. And right adjacent to that, deep to that, is the flexor pollicis brevis muscle. So the abductor pollicis brevis is superficial, and then adjacent to it, and they're very hard to separate, is that flexor. And when one's torn, I imagine the other one uh, may be likely to be injured as well, so it may not be all that critical. But to keep it simple, just think about the superficial one is the abductor, and then the uh, medial one, the deep one, is the adductor. And one last tiny thing is the uh, opponent's pollicis. The opponent's pollicis is a muscle, comes over here, and rather than going out here to the base of the proximal phalanx, it attaches to the shaft here of the metacarpal bone. So it's this broad muscle part of this, I guess, is the opponent's pollicis. So if it's more proximal, not out distal, right in here, deep, maybe the opponent's. If it's more along the radial side, more superficial coming out here to the base of the proximal phalanx, and it's the abductor ABD and the underlying uh, flexor pollicis brevis muscles there together. And again, if it's deep to this flexor tendon, think about the adductors, ADDs, that go over here and attach along the uh, ulnar side. So there it is. Still sounds confusing that I'm done, but uh, hopefully that helps.